start up the ANSYS Workbench, we can double click from an icon on the desktop or go from the Start menu, All Programs, ANSYS, and click on the Workbench. From the Workbench, we're going to start our static analysis. So we do that by clicking on Static Structural and dragging it to the main project window. And here we're going to double click on engineering data and create an aluminum material. We do this by double clicking below structural steel, typing in the name of our new material, hit enter, and then we're going to base it off of isotropic properties. So double click on isotropic and we're going to assign it both the Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. Young's modulus in the problem statement is 1 times 10 to the 7th PSI. So we switch the unit in the drop down menu to PSI and type in 1 E times 7. Enter. And the Poisson's ratio is 0 0.33. Enter. Now we have created the aluminum material which will be applied to the I-beam and we can go back to the ANSYS workbench by hitting return to project. That will be the beginning setup for the I-beam tutorial.